Welcome to A Cup of Compassion, sponsored by the Show Me Hope Crisis Counseling Program and the Center for Trauma-Informed Innovation at Truman Medical Centers. I am Andrea Dalton, a Special Projects Coordinator in the Center for Trauma-Informed Innovation. Today, I will lead you through a brief practice of journaling or reflection, taking stock of where you are, where you've come from, and what might be ahead for you. Please note that the information shared in this video session is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical or behavioral health advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. If you have questions, you may leave them in the comments section of this video and we will respond to questions as we are able after today. Today, I'll invite you to engage in a brief reflection with me about a tree. You can do this reflection either through journaling or if you'd rather just meditate on it, you can do that either by moving around, walking, or just sitting, relaxing, however you prefer. If you'd like to journal, I invite you to get a piece of paper and something to write with now. Trees are something that really speak to me. They are uh, representative of, of life and growth and learning. We use trees to talk about where we've come from, what's in our roots, our family trees. We also use trees to think about where our growth is, what, what our outcomes are, where is the fruit that we've bared. And so today we're going to consider all of those things as we look at this tree. If you're doing this as a journaling process, you can either write about these things or you could draw a picture of a tree and then put some of the ideas, uh, some of the responses that you have on the different areas of the tree as I walk you through this. So first, take a few minutes to think about the roots, your roots. What's in your history? What's in your ancestry? Where do you come from? What does that mean to you? Take just about two minutes to write down some of those ideas. Next, let's take a look at what's in the soil around your tree. What are the things that feed you? What are your values? What's in your spirit? What are the soulful forces at work in your life? What do you ground yourself in? Where do you draw strength from? What feeds your spirit? Again, take two to three minutes to journal about that or consider it.
Next, let's take a look at your trunk. Your trunk can represent influences and sources of information. Who or what has shaped or is shaping you? Again, taking two minutes or so to jot those ideas down. Next, we'll look at the branches. Your branches can represent creations and partnerships. What are you bringing out into the world? Where is your growth? What organizations are you part of? Who do you connect with? Take about two to three minutes to consider what your branches represent. And next, the blossoms or the buds on your branches. What are your dreams for the future? What do you hope for the future? Are those ideas fully formed? Are they blossoms? Or are they just little germs of an idea? You're just starting to take note of, starting to consider. What's next for you? Again, take two to three minutes to consider that.
Next, let's look at the leaves or the fruit on your tree. These could represent your accomplishments, things you're proud of, things that you have created and produced and maybe passed off to other people. Take two to three minutes to think about what the leaves and the fruit represent for you. And finally, I've added in some dead or dying branches to my tree because all trees have them. Sometimes we have to prune things away in order to have better growth on the healthier parts of our tree. So consider for you, what are some of those dead branches? What are things you're trying to unlearn or leave behind? What do you want to let go of in your life? Take another couple of minutes to write about that. And now I invite you to take some time just to reflect on what you've created. Whether you've listed that out or drawn a picture of a tree, or maybe you've just thought about it, imagined it in your mind. Take a little time to look back over it. Where did you feel really good when you were writing or thinking about that? Where did you have some more difficult feelings? Note those. You might ask yourself some questions about it. 
you might wonder why am I feeling that way about this? What is it about that idea that makes me feel this way? As you reflect back on what's in your soil and your values, how does everything connect back to that? What are your core values? How can you start to weave those into places where maybe they're not showing up as much right now? And consider, what is it that I'd like to do next? Maybe looking at some of those blossoms and buds. Where are some actionable steps? What are some things I could do right now? What are some things I need to put on my to-do list for a little further down the road? And then consider, what do you need in order to do this? What do you need in order to have growth? Who are the people? who come along and help to water or fertilize your tree? What are the activities that help you cultivate the soil around you? What are the things that lead to good growth for you and learning? How can you build those into your life right now? And maybe there are things you need that you're not getting right now or that you don't have access to. That often happens to us, especially when we're in times of crisis. So begin to think about how you might be able to access those in the future. Or consider if there are things that might take the place of some of those. Sometimes in crisis, we find the things we least expect are the things that meet our needs at that time. Finally, just take a breath. Breathe in the air that gives you life. Exhale, resting. Over the next days, I invite you to keep reflecting on this tree for yourself. You might add more things to it. Or some things you might think, nah, that's not really what I want anymore. And that's okay. This is all about you. It's whatever you want it to be. Pausing like this every once in a while at changes of season, new years, new events, changes in life can help us take stock of where we are, where we've come from, and can help energize us for where we're going next. I encourage you to, again, consider taking a look at this, at those pivotal moments in your life, reflecting back on where you've come and where you're going. Taking time to check in with yourself is never time wasted. Thank you for taking this time with me today. We hope this practice will serve as a tool to support your well-being during this time. I invite you to join us again next Thursday at 12.30 p.m. Central Time for another Cup of Compassion right here on YouTube. Please subscribe to our channel to be notified of new videos. If you would like crisis counseling support, please call 816-404-6222 or for immediate care, call the Disaster Distress Helpline at 800-985-5990. Please take good care.